Swords of Dawn is in your side deck? So what is it you were thinking? What exactly came into your mind? Oh, I'm playing against Danger Toon Ball. Guess I'm gonna need Swords at Dawn for this matchup. Yeah, this matchup, one, yeah, yeah, this is a perfect matchup for Swords at Dawn. Welcome back to another episode of Table 500, where we take apart your ter- Hey, I haven't done that intro in like fucking 30 episodes or something. Yo, big if true. All right, this, uh, this deck here is sent in by Chris. Dark Scorpions. I was surprised how good this deck was. Yes, it dies to any negation whatsoever, but other than that, it can take on almost any monster. Yes, I have the whole team, even Gorg. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Like, it, I think Gorg is a dark scorpion. Um, so, th th so this is the problem with table 500 decks, right? Every single person that comes comes here for table 500, they always um, they always uh, br bring together. Uh, their reasoning and the, the, the argument that they give is, oh, this deck is really good if my opponent does absolutely nothing, right? Right? So that's kind of the problem with, like, old legacy decks. They can't, like, do anything if your opponent has even just one single response, right? Um, that's really what the email said there as a disclaimer. It said, by the way, this deck's really good if you don't stop it in any shape or form and refuse to activate any of your cards. So I think that like uh, covers about like 90% of the of the archetypes in the game. So let's see what exactly your deck does when your opponent does absolutely nothing and lets you play. So this replay by the way is titled Dark Scorpion OTK. Oh, oh set Dark Soul Pass. Yeah, yeah, see this is what I mean. You know, if you if your deck can play through Dark Soul Pass, you know, that's really good. Um but I wouldn't really exactly get too excited if Dark Soul Pass is really what you can play against. Um, all right, what have we got here? We've got Mane, uh, M Mine, the Thorn. When this inflicts battle damage, add a Dark Scorpion. Or you can target one Dark Scorpion card and in your grave and add it to your hands. Wow, that's fuck, that's incredible. That that is absolutely incredible. Uh, we're gonna rota for Vile. <laughs> okay, right. Let's let's rely on the non Dark Scorpion. Oh, you're gonna make a Zolde as well. You're gonna make like a Zolde combos. Are you? This is insane. Th this is so good. Uh, yeah, the Dark Scorpion deck, by the way. This is- This is my Dark Scorpion deck, smiley face. Okay? Yo, broken in the chat. Guys, broken in the chat. It's literally broken bamboo sword. Look at these draws, though, by the way. Holy crap. Uh, acquisitiveness, and... I just- What? 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 Was that a pendulum summon of the Dark Scorpions? What? What just- What? What? Don Zalug? Mini? Chick? Uh... Whoa, okay. Uh, let's have a quick read. Don Zalug. Discard a random card from their hand. Send the top two uh, to the grave. Uh, turn one card if you return that to the hand. Is this even game? <laughs> Is this even it? It's probably 8,000. Okay. Uh, yeah, so guys, guys. You heard it here first. Let's move on to this one here. Uh, okay, we've got DDs versus Dark Scorpion. Empowered uh, Dragodes, right? Dragodes. Um, I'm just looking at this DD player here, and I just, I, 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 I don't really, yeah, like uh, the, 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 the. DD Human Resources. What the hell is this card name? <laughs> Shuffle three cards into the deck. Any combination of DDs in your hand field a grave. Then you can add two DDs from your deck to your hand. That's actually really good if it wasn't a trap card. See, that's kind of the problem, right? That's a trap card, right? Vion. Okay, like, are you just gonna make a Zolde? I, Dark Scorpion, by the way. Does anyone see any Dark Scorpions in the on the field? Oh, well, okay. Well, there's Don Zalug, I guess. Never mind. Um, it, it's still funny. Don Zalug. Oh, oh yeah. Don Zalug gets used as fodder for Dark Claw. Yeah, Dark Claw. Um, oh, well, there's a Dragodes and a... And a oh, which, who's this one? Cliff. You can target one spell or trap on the field and destroy it. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we can uh, we can pop like the Miracle Fusion. Yeah, there are, are, we're getting a lot of we're getting a lot of resources and we're getting a lot of value out of our dark scorpion cards. It's really just Isolde with like a dark scorpion engine. <laughs> it's it's a hero warrior. It's a it's just a warrior hero deck with a dark scorpion engine. See, uh, see, look, look, look. See, you know what these dark scorpions provide? They provide discard fodder for your nightmares. So basically, they could be any card in the fucking game, and they would probably be uh, about the same value as uh, as what they have provided for this duel. Realistically. Warrior Toolbox. Yeah, yeah, it's Warrior Toolbox. 
Can I just call this warrior toolbox? What should we do? Okay, your opponent just scoops. Um, the, the, this is so funny. Like, I, I actually really like this. Uh, I think it's great. Oh, what are you playing against? Your opponent opened the one-off grinder golem? Your opponent opened the one-off grinder golem, going first in his combo deck, playing Raigeki. Raigeki's in the chat. So, this is the thing about Raigeki, right? It doesn't do anything going first. And it doesn't do anything this format. You know? Effect of, um, wait, wait, what's the nightmare that protects from uh, battle? Uh, sorry, destruction. I think it's Cerberus. Cerberus continuous effect, okay? Yo. <laughs> Firewall and Boral Load. Pass. Boral Wall Pass! Boral Wall Pass! The new combo, the new meme. Welcome everyone, this is the new format, spoilers, uh, for the new ban list coming forward, this is it, Boral Wall Pass, Boral Wall Pass, the evolution, the evolu- the next step in the evolutionary process, the next stage, Boral Wall Pass, okay, right, let's see what we can do against Boral Wall Pass, are we going to be able to out this monstrosity of a board, this unbreakable, most amazing, most broken board, that we have seen on table 5 on Boral Wall Pass. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're going to bounce the ball firewall with Unicorn. Yeah, wow, that was hard. That was sure hard. Um, how are you gonna out, out the uh, this guy? Oh, okay, the scale does. Dragodi's outs it. Nice, nice Dragodi's effect. Uh, well, well, weirdly enough, Boral Wall Pass didn't exactly work. Didn't exactly work. Um, oh, the Raigeki coming in clutch, though. Raigeki coming in clutch for once every, like, 30 duels that we've seen on table 500. Um, it did something. Great. That, that's good to see. Uh, oh, top decking the acquisitiveness. This could get spicy. This could get real damn spicy. Um, so we've got a... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go for some uh, Azolde play. See, like, the, what did the Raigeki actually achieve, you know? What did the Raigeki actually achieve? Nothing. You know, it's, it, it's not a blowout. It doesn't end the game. Yo, this Dragodes is amazing. This Dragodes is putting in work. Holy crap. All right, we'll do one more replay because uh, we're slowly uh, going over time. But I'm just curious to see what, what the hell is this? Toon... Uh... What is this? What is this? What are you playing? Danger Toon Balls. D Danger Toon Balls. Round Boy. R r round danger um danger boy uh i don't know danger toon balls like i like it it's got a nice ring to it it's got it's got, it's got that little um it's got that finesse to it yeah i think so are you meaning galaxy cyclone what yo wh what galaxy cyclone <laughs> this my friends th 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 see this is why joe prone in a nutshell this is why Joe Prune in a nutshell. Dark Scorpion versus uh, Danger Toon Balls, right? That's the meta. Not playing around the gores, by the way. Not playing around the gores. Can you believe him? Can you believe this, man? Swords at Dawn. Oh my god, Swords at Dawn. Ch in the battle phase for Moon Mirror. What year is this? How is that? No! C -c fuck! Oh my god, you almost hit the round boy. You almost hit the round boy with Don Zalug. Damn. Oh, look, round boy, it does nothing. It does fucking nothing. Congratulations. What? I just, I feel like I fell into a time warp. Um, what, what is this deck list? Why did you send it in shuffled like this? What, what, what kind of statement are you trying to make here? That's what I want to know. Um, I, I'm just going to hit sort. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. Oh, you're playing grinder golem as well. Yeah. Uh, what do these dons look? Wait, what's Gorg do? This guy doesn't do anything. Turn on monster your opponent controls. Return it to the top of the deck. Hey, he's not terrible. And he's 1800. Honestly, he's probably the best one. <laughs> one Don Zalug. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know the under the, the reasoning for, like, the ratios of Dark Scorpions. Um, I, like, what are the Bamboo Swords for? Is it is it, is it, is it just, like, it was oldie shit? You know, like, it, uh, put in a... I, I don't know. Broken's in the chat, by the way. Broken Bamboo Swords. Broken's in the chat. So, swords at Dawn is in your side deck? So what is it you were thinking? What exactly came into my- Oh, I'm playing against Danger Toon Ball. Guess I'm gonna need Swords at Dawn for this matchup. Yeah, this matchup- One- Yeah, yeah, this is a perfect matchup for Swords at Dawn. 
Sorza Dawn goes great against Danger Baltons. Okay, great, awesome. Fuck, this is... The, I don't know what to say. I'm blown away right now. Um, thanks everyone for watching. If you want to take part in the series, check the description down below and find out if you can do better than Danger Baltons. And until next time, my name has been Don Zalug.